Hi everyone, it's Paul Maunder from Production Expert. Recently, we looked at some of the features in the excellent Audio Design Desk software. This time, I'm going to show you a few more features, including various options for modifying and replacing sounds on the timeline, and also the AAF export process, so you can finish off the mix in Pro Tools. I've currently got an empty project, and I'm going to create a quick composition in real time, just to remind you before I do that of some of the shortcuts. R will trigger a rise, D is drone, T transition, H hit, and Z or Z music. So let's give it a go. And as you can see, all of those sounds have been placed on the timeline, triggered by those keys which I pressed. Let's just see what we've got. And as a quick real-time composition, that's actually pretty good, but let's tweak and change a few of the sounds. One thing I didn't mention in the previous video is how you can change the level of a clip on the timeline. It's really quick and easy. Just select it and press shift and up and down arrow, and as you can see, it's going up and down in level in 2 dB increments. Another feature which I quite like, if I just play this sound in isolation for a second, you can actually add effects on a clip-by-clip -clip basis. To do that, once again, select the clip, then just press shift G, and it'll bring up this. And essentially these are inserts, so any plugins that you've got installed on your system will be available. Let's just go with the standard Apple delay. Let's try that. And you can see there's a couple of other things in here. There's a gain control and also pitch. Now you can very easily just drag this up and down to change the pitch of it, or there's an alternative way. Select the clip and press Option, Shift and Up Arrow to pitch it up, so let's try that or option shift down arrow to pitch it down. Now with regards to actually replacing clips on the timeline, in the previous set of videos I used the command R shortcut which basically replaces them automatically and it randomizes the choices. But maybe you don't want a random choice, maybe you want a bit more control over exactly what's loaded. Let's just see what this clip is. Okay, and now if I want to swap that one, but choose more selectively exactly what it's replaced with, I can do Shift R, and it's going to bring up this dialog box, and automatically it's selected the particular category of effect, and I can go through these and preview them. Let's try another one. And one more. Okay, that's not bad. And then either hit Return or click on the Replace button, and it swaps it. Maintaining the synchronization, which, of course, if you were working with video in the project, is critical. Another feature which I find very useful is an alternative way to load triggers onto these keys. So previously, we selected them up here and then assigned them, and then when you press those numbers on the keyboard, they'll be triggered in real time. But alternatively, you can select the number in question, choose Assign, and then Load From, select a category. So let's choose Footsteps, and let's be a bit more specific. So I'm going to choose Footsteps on Gravel, and finally, what type of footwear? boots. Now currently, if I start this project playing and hit the number one key repeatedly, it will randomly select and assign from this collection of sounds. But maybe I don't want it to be random, maybe I'd prefer more of a left right left right kind of footstep sound. In that case, I would choose sequential. Let's give that a go. Okay, that's eight footsteps. Let's see what we've got. Once again, really quick and easy to accomplish. Now let's take a look at the AAF export process. I'm actually going to switch back to another project which I showed you in the first set of videos, which was this one. It's sounding good so far, but I personally would like to finish the mix in Pro Tools. So I'm going to go to the File menu, Export, AF or XML. And I think the only thing I'm going to change here is I'm going to change the bit depth to 24-bit, Export. And I'll just drop it on the desktop, click on Save. It's really quick, actually. That was real time, I didn't speed that up afterwards. Now let's go into Pro Tools. As you can see, I've already got the video in there. Now let's just bring the AAF in, drag and drop. Import session data comes up. And the default settings in this case are fine. I'll just click OK. And very quickly, this is going to bring it into the timeline. All the tracks are there, all the audio files present, and it's ready to mix. So that's an overview of some of the features in Audio Design Desk. 
I've been very impressed with this software. And for me, as far as sound design is concerned, it integrates well with my existing workflow and I found that it's very quick and efficient to use. I recommend that you check it out and give it a try. Thanks for watching.